the Holy Ghost chose this way as an example for you to follow. And I'm telling you, you want it this way. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messengers are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Acts chapter 2, verse 16. But this is that. Say, this is that. This is that. This is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel this is that which was spoken meaning the prophet joel was moved upon by the holy ghost and spoke this yes. what is this that that they're talking about this is that where the holy ghost came on the day of pentecost mm -hmm. right yes. so the holy ghost listen this is going to be important this is how the holy ghost chose to manifest himself was within words that were already spoken yes. he could have come in any way he wanted to but he chose to come in that which was spoken mm -hmm. spoken words that he had joel already speak does this make sense mm -hmm. yes what did he enter into words that were already spoken and if we're going to walk with him the holy ghost what are we going to walk in this that words that were already spoken yes. are you seeing this yes. are you seeing that yes say i am this, I am this. say I am, that. I am that which was spoken, which was spoken. what do you enter into <laughs> this that he is already in yes. is this making sense how did the Holy Ghost choose to come into the world on the day of Pentecost he came in this that which was already spoken yes Holy Ghost God in the earth today that's how he came in are you here yes does this matter yes Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 but without faith it's impossible to please him for he that comes to God god who god the holy ghost he that comes to god the holy ghost must believe that he is is what is meaning he exists mm -hmm. is where here, yeah. is here in the earth today mm -hmm. must believe that he is and that and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him so not only is he here in that he rewards you mm -hmm. if you want to please him you must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder yes. say I believe that he is, I believe that he is. And, I believe he's a and I believe he's a rewarder and it goes on and says here of them that diligently seek him mm -hmm. so he rewards diligence yes. I'm gonna say that again he rewards diligence he rewards diligence he rewards diligence he doesn't reward the non-diligent right. if you're diligent in seeking him mm -hmm. as who he is this that he will what reward you can you testify to this mm -hmm. I can yes. when I'm diligent in this that we'll be talking about today mm -hmm. say if I'm diligent if I'm in this that, in this that he's talking about today mm -hmm. he will reward me, will reward me. it's guaranteed, guaranteed. Amen. without faith it's impossible to please him you want to please him or not mm -hmm. then you got to believe he is mm -hmm. all those things we've said he is and you have to believe he rewards you yes. say I believe, he is. I believe he is I believe he rewards me, he rewards me. and I'm diligent and I'm at it diligent. If you believe that you've come a long ways way beyond where most people are first Corinthians chapter 12 well let's look at verse 1 because it's hard to get past that 
now concerning spiritual gifts or things pertaining to the spirit brethren i would not have you ignorant he's talking to brethren he doesn't want them ignorant and up until this point he was talking to some ignorant brethren mm -hmm. let's go down here to verse 7 but the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man who is it given to every man, every man. Mm -hmm. so i don't want you ignorant mm -hmm. that there is a manifestation for you it's given to you mm -hmm. you may be ignorant of how it's given to you and we'll get into that but it's given yes. verse 11 but all these worketh that one and self same spirit we're talking about the holy ghost dividing to who every man severally or individually as he wills now the majority of people in the body of christ most preachers included will say well see it's as he wills and he'll only give it to one as he gives and he's dealing them out as he wills and then he just doesn't will you may need a healing but he doesn't will you may need a working of miracles but he doesn't will wrong he's already said he wills so we must be ignorant here it's as he wills you're missing it in the as mm -hmm. as he wills not whether he will does it say whether he wills or not no. his word is his will he's already said yes and amen to every verse right. promise in the bible that's as he wills his word is his will it's as he wills it's as his word says his said word is his will he came into his said word his will is for you to come into his said word his said word heals his said word delivers his said word prospers mm -hmm. his will is in his said word That's right. he entered into his said word he expects you to enter into his said word are you getting this mm -hmm. in the spoken word of god is the thing itself let me say that again in the spoken word of god is the thing itself so whatever that word he said is the thing mm -hmm. in it that he said if he said by jesus stripes you were healed did he say that yes, yes. then in that word mm -hmm. by jesus stripes you were healed mm -hmm. is by jesus stripes you were healed is that his word is that his will yes he said it's his will mm -hmm. you enter into that by saying it mm -hmm. his said word what takes place when you enter into that word healing, healing. Yes. it could be a miracle if you entered into my god supplies all my needs you entered into that word mm -hmm. as he wills he does will it's his will yes. Amen. you enter into it just like he did by saying and then my god supplies all your need that could be a miracle mm -hmm. it could be a word of wisdom it could be a word of knowledge the method or the gift doesn't matter but it's as he wills yeah. you have to get it as he wills are you here yes. in the spoken word is the thing itself if you can get anything out of this tonight is that that in that spoken word is the thing itself you are speaking the thing itself and you enter into it right mm -hmm. and when you're doing that you're walking with god the holy ghost yes god in the earth today in the spoken word is the thing itself true 
or not true is it in there yes. it's either true or it's not true mm -hmm. God said and it was so Amen. that's how everything came into being well he said those promises mm -hmm. so it was so in those promises how do you get those promises in your life you speak them and enter into them are you getting this yes. it's as he wills now I apologize I'm the bearer of some really good bad news <laughs> you might not have wanted to hear it this way this is how you had to enter into it mm -hmm. so you think you're gonna enter into it some other way than the way he did but I don't want to have to say his word and say it this way until it changes me I don't want to have to do that I don't want it that way you hear people say this mm -hmm. that's too bad <laughs> yeah. you're not the one who gets to pick which way it comes it's as he wills mm -hmm. say it's as he wills as he and when you figure out the way that he wills to have it come to pass and you get in line with it mm -hmm. there's nothing that'll stop you that's right. but if you're just waiting around for some ooh, manifestation of the spirit to take place forget about it you probably will be waiting around for a long time mm -hmm. I don't want it that way I want the gifts of the Spirit I want a vision that makes my situation go away mm -hmm. I want Jesus to come down and do something for me that's not gonna happen <laughs> I want you to give me a word really yeah. I'm gonna give you a word called Psalms 107 20 so you don't want it this way but I'm giving it to you anyway mm -hmm. Psalms 107 20 he sent his word and healed you and delivered you I want to be delivered I want to be healed he sent past tense his word and his word that he sent how did he send it by the way he sent it by saying it yes. his said word healed you his said word delivered you man if you could get a hold of this please people get a hold of it his said word healed you his said word delivered you who does the saying but you give me a word here's another word first Peter 2 24 by Jesus stripes you were healed who said this by the way the Holy Ghost inspired Peter to write that down by Jesus stripes you were healed Peter was just quoting Isaiah he told him the Holy Ghost moved on Isaiah to say it by Jesus stripes you were healed yes. you want a different word than that I'm telling you that in that word is the thing itself but you have to say it yes. and then by saying it you enter into it yeah but I said it twice that's not enough second Corinthians 1 20 says all the promises of God are yes and amen he has already said yes to all the promises of God he said the promises of God they're his promises Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and he already said yes concerning you and those promises yes. but you want a word you enter into those words just like he did this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel mm -hmm. first Peter 2 24 is that which was spoken by Peter and Isaiah mm -hmm. this is that Psalms 107 20 which was spoken by the prophet David are you here yes. you enter into those words by saying them am I getting this across mm -hmm. and when you do that who are you walking with the one that said him in the first place That's right. the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today you become this that was spoken mm -hmm. you enter into this that was spoken was is past tense you understand that mm -hmm. it already was spoken 
now you enter into that which was already spoken in your present tense mm -hmm. same way that the Holy Ghost came in mm -hmm. and he is here present tense are you getting this yes. you enter into the was spoken by having said nothing was spoken until it was said by you mm -hmm. for you are you gonna have the was spoken without having spoke it no. you enter into the was spoken I know this is I'm twisting the English language a little bit but Jeff you, you, you understand right yeah. say I enter into, I enter into the, the was spoken, was spoken. Then you have to have said it before you enter into it. Yes. Listen, if you get it this way that I've been saying, mm -hmm. it will never be taken from you. And you've got something eternal. This is not an answer to prayer. This is you being a doer of the word no prayer necessary he's already said his promise he said yes to you concerning that promise now you'd simply enter into it doing the word 90% of the time is saying the word saying the word is doing the word doing the word is saying the word saying the word is doing the word and you say it and you do it until mm -hmm. it manifests until you move into it until it becomes you yeah. until you become it you need this message this message is for you mm -hmm. I hear from people all the time problem this problem that mm -hmm. circumstance this circumstance that hard time here having a hard time there well god doesn't want you going from problem to problem from hard time to hard time from circumstance to circumstance and when you are changed say when i'm changed, when I'm changed. the circumstance follows me mm -hmm. the situation follows me you flipped it you gotta flip it you flipped it so now the circumstance follows you is this making sense yes my saying god's word changes me my saying changes me into this that was spoken i'm changed i become that thing that's in those things spoken right well in every verse of scripture the Holy Ghost is there and the thing that he said is there mm -hmm. and when you enter into it that begins to pop up mm -hmm. in you and his word having that thing in itself mm -hmm. the Bible says in Joshua 24 15 choose you mm -hmm. this day whom you will serve you make the choice you decide what scriptures you are going to walk with him in he's in every one of them i choose deuteronomy 8 18 god gives me power to get wealth i choose proverbs 10 22 the blessing of the lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it how do i choose it by saying it yes. and committing to say it until mm -hmm. this that which is there becomes me mm -hmm. it doesn't happen overnight your situation didn't happen overnight either you didn't get into that mess overnight are you expecting god to do some quick oh god quick answer my prayer make a miracle he gave you your miracle his word in your mouth mm -hmm. mark chapter 4 26 and he said so is the kingdom of god as if a man should cast seed into the ground who cast the seed the man, the man who chose what seed to cast the man. the man 
verse 27 and should sleep and rise night and day and the seed should spring and grow up he knows not how he doesn't know how it works but he knows that he has to put the seed in the ground and leave it there yeah. well the seed is the word of god and we put it there by saying it and i was noticing that he numbered this not in hours or minutes he numbered it in days you have to commit to saying it for days and then you go to bed at night and you get up in the morning and what do you do you say it again mm -hmm. you go to sleep you get up you say it again mm -hmm. for a season say for a season. for a season i don't want it that way i know but you know what you're going to go through a whole nother season and end up in the same place you are until you do learn how to do this well i've committed to saying this that until my whole life is changed i don't care what that ends up looking like i'm gonna keep saying it until i'm changed into that are you here until these are my words and i own these words they own me mm -hmm. and they have become me i have become this that right. was spoken i'm living this and not only preach this stuff i'm proving it mm -hmm. and so are the people my partners that are doing it they're proving it this that was spoken we become this that was already spoken are you here yes. on my own terms i choose this day that which to speak mm -hmm. and does it please him yes mm -hmm. because we come to him we believe he is and that he is a rewarder i've committed to doing it until it becomes me and i become it mm -hmm. you may have wanted it some other way too bad this is god's way it's the way the holy ghost chose to enter into the world and it's the way we get to walk with him is by speaking in agreement mm -hmm. with his word speaking in agreement with his word until it changes you into the thing that it is i become a rich person mm -hmm. i become a healed person are you here yes. the holy ghost chose this way he chose this method as an example for you to follow and i'm telling you you want it this way even though your your initial reaction is to oh, i don't want to hear it i don't want to do it that way no you want it this way this is the way you want it say i want it this way, want it this way. you want to learn how to walk with god by speaking his word and it'll never be taken from you when you do you want it god's way the holy ghost said i have few people who will speak my words with intent but that time is changing there's a people rising up in this day and age who are learning how to speak his words with intent the intent being that they are changed into it and their circumstances change and their situation changes and follows them and God will be with you when you speak his words Holy Ghost I thank you that you are with these people as they commit to speaking your words until those things truly come to pass until they are completely changed and altered into the thing which was spoken I bless them in Jesus name Amen, amen. If you have a tithe or an offering, hold it in your hand. Say this after me, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. I worship you. I worship you. you are God in the earth today. You, you have said in your word that if I give, it will be given unto me. Good measure, pressed down, 
shaking together running over would men give into my bosom in the same measure I gave it's given unto me this is happening now I have become this my finances have become this my bank account has become this I worship you Holy Ghost in Jesus name amen